After years of talks and negotiations, Poland is on the final straight to build nuclear power plants. The US conglomerate Westinghouse will be responsible for the construction of the first, while the second will be built by Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power, the company that operates all 24 nuclear power plants operating in South Korea. This is how we will build our energy security. We will also work with the Polish side to increase the area of land in Poland for future investment in order to employ as many Poles as possible and increase information and technology transfer opportunities for your economy. The parties emphasize that the intention of the agreement is to assess the possibility of developing cooperation within the framework of locating investments in Poland in the Konin district of the city of Pantnov, where a lignite-fired power plant is currently located. Prospects for the transfer of advanced technologies are opening up before Poland. In addition to the implementation of this investment in Poland, we want to export to Poland and cooperate with you also in areas such as hydrogen and battery-based energy production, areas where we are leaders globally. This will be the second planned nuclear investment in Poland. The first will be built by the Americans. A strong Polish-American alliance provides guarantees for the success of joint initiatives. After recent fruitful talks with US Vice President Kamala Harris and Secretary Jennifer Granholm, we confirm the implementation of the nuclear project with proven and safe Westinghouse nuclear technology. We thank the Ambassador of the United States for his cooperation. The resolution of the Council of Ministers is on Wednesday. Atomic energy is cheap and green. It is the answer to the challenge of reducing carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. Nuclear energy does not generate greenhouse gases, which means that it is not subject to the ETS system, which imposes the obligation to buy permits to emit carbon dioxide. It should be said that it is a great success for Poland that we are starting to develop nuclear energy. It is a very stable and at the same time low carbon source. The establishment of nuclear power plants in Poland could provide 6 to 9 gigawatts of power. By comparison, Poland's largest power plant in Belhatov has a capacity of about 5 gigawatts. The most optimistic scenario assumes that the construction of the first power plant will start in 2026. Its commissioning would take place in 2033. The first fuel crisis of 1973 caused by OPEC countries caused France to decide not to depend further on fossil fuels, but to switch to nuclear power, which is, on the one hand, insensitive to problems in the international arena, to problems with the supply of fossil resources. And on the other hand, it is worth noting that in France, the CO2 emissions needed to produce the same amount of energy as in Germany are seven times lower. Today's agreement is not the only recent cooperation with the Seoul government. Yatsik Sassin, prior to the nuclear talks, held a meeting with South Korean Defence Procurement Minister Aam Dong Hwan and Deputy Minister of the Defence Procurement Planning Agency Il Sung. They discussed further cooperation to launch defence equipment production in Poland. The atmosphere of this meeting was very good. It indicates that these proposals are indeed very promising. Earlier, Poland purchased 100 K2 tanks. On October the 19th, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Defence Marshal Błaszczak approved a contract for the supply of South Korean K239 Chunmu rocket launchers. Polish Yelch trucks will be incorporated into these missile launchers. The Chunmu are very similar in terms of characteristics to the HIMARS. They are of very good weapons, very good equipment, and I think our Polish-Korean joint success is that the first Chumno squadron will be delivered to Poland as early as next year.